Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So from this video, we are going to start a new series on our channel with latest technology project. So in this video, we are going to see Jetpack Compose in our video. So from this video, we are going to start a new series of entire Jetpack Compose. We will make some components in Jetpack Compose. Then we will start making some projects using Jetpack Compose, MVVM and latest Android technologies. So this entire series is going to vary amazing and very informative and it definitely helped to land a perfect job for your Android development. So this is the first video of the series and in this video we will going to see how to create your first Compose application, how to set on click listener on Compose application and just basic terminology is what Compose application contain rather than XML. So we will understand the project structure, how to create a simple hello Android application and how to set on click. So this is only for today's video but in the next upcoming video we will going to create multiple components using jetpack compose and then we will also make project by combining all that components so this entire series is going to very amazing so don't forget to delay now let's start the video and if you don't like the tutorial now then please like the video and if you don't subscribe the channel till now then please subscribe the channel so now let's start the video so first of all open your Rhino studio click on file click on new and click on new project so first of all, if you want to create a Compose application, then your Android Studio should be a latest version. So if it, it is not updated, then please update your Android Studio to the latest version. Now you can see here we have a two things, empty Compose activity, empty Compose activity, Material 3. Now what, you, what is Material 3? Material 3 is our design principles by Android to create a beautiful application, to create a application consistent design, which can, contains consistent design throughout the application. So if you use Material 3, then it is better to make your design according to material 3 guidelines so it will definitely help to understand your code if someone other read your code so it is your choice whether you want to create empty compose activity or empty compose material 3 so i am going to use material 3 because from this day if we are going to make any project in using jetpack compose we are going to follow material 3 guidelines in our des appli application designing so this entire series that's why i am saying is going to very amazing so now i select this one click on next you can give any name to your application so i am going first compose tutorial you can give any name it is your choice and we are going to use kotlin it is obvious if we are using compose then we need to use kotlin we, we don't have an option of java and click on finish so when you click on finish it will going to take some time to create your first project so be patient because if you are going to create it first time then it will going to download lots of dependencies lots of extensions and other thing as well so finally project build successful and on the right side you can see this is the design this application does only contain this one hello android so we will understand in upcoming videos how this is happening and why we are not able to see entire screen how the compose is actually working in android so when you create your project first time so you can see it will going to show these things so first of all i am deleting this you can also delete as well and you can also remove this that's it because we will going to understand everything each and everything by upcoming video by step by step so don't worry we will going to use only this set content and this composable function to show the text on android so first of all let's see the project structure of composable application so whenever you open create this first time application you will going to see this package ui and inside ui you will going to see this theme package and inside theme package you have a three files color.kt theme.kt and type.kt so now inside let me explain one by one each and every file what is the working of these files so first of all inside color.kt you have you can see color codes are defined which you are going to use inside your composable application and inside theme.kt you have a themes whether it is a dark theme light theme or if any other theme if you want to use in your application and inside type.kt you are going to use typography which is basically the font which font you are going to use what is the font size font family these things so this is done now other entire things are same and you can see this is just a main activity.kt and it does not contain any xml because this is a composable activity you can see it is extending component activity which will going to and we can directly create the ui here and also the working of that ui as well now it also comes in the resource package and this is the drawable same same as like xml where you can paste your drawable vector assets 
this is also same map, map folder now you can see this also contain a values file now what is the use of this value file when we already have this color theme and type so let us suppose if you are developing a big application using compose so compose is still in production and it is not a stable so if let us suppose if you want to create a complex ui so maybe it is not possible to create in compose so on that time we also need to use xml as well in our project so on for that time if you want to use xml as well as compose then this is also present colors.xml string.xml and themes.xml so hope you understand why this is present here now this is the directory xml and it contains two files so we will understand the working of these files in upcoming videos so leave it for now because we don't need this right now now let's create our first application in compose so whenever you open this application first time you also need if you want to show some ui in your application you need to call this function set content so whenever you type this set content and inside this you need to call the composable function now what is the composable function let us suppose you have an image in your application you have a text you have a edit text whatever you have it is known as composable function in your compose application so hope you understand what is composable function now let us suppose if i want to show hello android on my screen so i need to create a composable function for hello android so you can see you just need to create a function you can give any name i just give the function name greeting then it will going to take any text you can pass and now this is the text modifier which we are going to use to set the text so you can see if you type this text in capital so you can see it is a composable text so hope you understand now to use this function we need to must annotate with composable verb so now we can call this function so if i type this creating and inside this i can pass anything whatever i want i can pass here android tech projects whatever you can pass so it will going to show this hello now one last thing we are going to see in this video how to set on click listener on the component Com composable function so you can see you need to just take a comma here and then you need to declare a modifier modifier equal modifier capital dot clickable so by using this you can set on click listener and you can perform whatever you want so we will going to understand we will going to show toast in upcoming videos but this is just a basic understanding how to use this because if we want to make a modification on our text view edit text and any other thing in our text view like saying the text size font size we will also be, we will going to use modifier so leave it for now so this is our first composable application let's run this and check whether it is working or not and if it is working fine then we will end this video and then we will see second part of this video where we are going to create a login page using compose so i connect my phone and press on run button and one more thing if you want to see the ui if you are creating a ui and you also want to see it simultaneously then i will also going to explain this in upcoming videos but leave it for now so you can see our project will successful and it will going to install the application inside our phone and application install successfully and on the top of the screen you can see you are able to see hello android so this is our first application in compose so in upcoming videos you will going to explore compose in depth and also you will going to create a project using latest terminologies in android so i hope guys you learned something new in this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel please share the channel so thank you guys see you soon in next amazing video thank you